<laughs> well, thank you, my brother Matthew, Pastor Matthew. Thank you for being here and joining us. I know you have a youth event going on where you are. And so thank you for logging on so early to tell us. So what has happened uh, at Bexley? What happened at Bexley Heath around the clock tower um, on, on Saturday, I believe? Sure, on Saturday, um, we teamed together with other local churches to, to put on a carol service on the Broadway. Okay. Um, but it's not just a carol service. It's a gospel proclamation. And it was a very, very joyful time. Um, we set ourselves up right in the busy part of the Broadway where you get a crowd. And even if you don't, the people walking past, they can't escape you, you know. And so uh, it was a wonderful time of, of you know, those wonderful carols with the, the gospel in them, but also um, Bible readings and gospel proclamation, a couple of short preaches, which we did. Okay. And uh, it was... Uh, a joy and uh you know when you do these events the most exciting thing is when the church actually seems excited about what they're doing they yeah, actually seem like they I want to be there party. i've been at these events in the party. past where it felt like no one wanted to be there <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we all wanted to be there and we were all so joyful uh and we were so delighted with the scripture and with the gospel and with the singing you know and it was really you could hear it everywhere you know Fantastic. and there could be no doubt in that hour that we were out there was no doubt the church was alive, is alive, and was there with everyone. It was wonderful. Well, well Pastor, um, 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 Pastor Matthew, it was really great that um, 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 Pastor Mikan, sorry, that you're really able to be here um, to us. And God bless you. And congratulations on your on your appointment. I've not seen you since you've been appointed the lead pastor of um, 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 uh, of your wonderful church. And but I I want to ask you something that's been very interesting um, uh, th for those who have been putting this together. Um, how many people do you would you say heard your voice or were aware that you were there in terms of average numbers? It's a really good question. I would say there's probably about a hundred people assembled at any time, okay. but there would I would say that there must be at least a thousand people okay. who would have heard the gospel in either carol, in scripture reading, or in gospel proclamation because okay. we have large it's christmas shopping time large numbers of people passing very closely by so i i would say you know over a thousand people have they heard something about jesus and the gospel this christmas christ wow. the light of the world yeah. yes which which is which is one of the things that we're talking so uh, how many of you were able to go in terms of the churches average number so normally in Bexley, we're very blessed with churches working very closely together and having good fellowship. So you can expect to see 20 churches, you know, come together and worship. And, you know, I would say this Christmas, it was uh, possibly slightly fewer churches. And that's partly because a lot of churches have a lot of their own events, yes. you know, and it's all good stuff, you know. So, yes. um, so I think it was slightly fewer, but, you know, certainly from the Baptist churches, the URC, the Anglican, Pentecostal um, denominations were all present. OK, so, cause, so, what, so what we're trying to do is that we're trying to calculate the average ratio of the numbers of people that each Christian would reach on the streets. So if there were 100 of you, um, you probably would. That means a ratio of 10, each person reaching 10 people to reach about a thousand, if you understand what I mean. Um, but we're finding out that it's slightly more than that um, because, because we are um, right now 53,000 um, people that are going to be going out, and this is conservative numbers. If we multiplied it by the ratio of 10, then we're looking at way more numbers than um, just 53,000. Am I making sense to you? Yeah, I think so. I think the impact is, is actually bigger than you think it's going to be. Yes, you know, yes, the, the interactions, whether they're direct interactions, whether they're there's a lot of people who like to listen, who don't want to talk to you, but they want to listen to people who are talking to you. <laughs> so for every one person you talk to, there's probably 20 listening to that wow. conversation. So the impact is definitely bigger. Yes. Well, wow. so what would you give as an encouragement to those who are going to be putting on the events starting from tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday based on um, your facilitation and being involved last week? Um, so obviously pray for good weather. We did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, God did amazing things because it was raining every, you know, before and after, but not during. So he, he answered prayer. I, I would just say, you know, this is our most joyful service. Um, do it, you know, just be um, free and joyful in the Lord. You know, this is our faith. 
um it's as simple as celebrating and being joyful about our savior and there's never been a time i think we all know this when our community in our world needs to hear this Yes. you know this message and so many and certainly in our community us they live in a, an environment where they're close to it but they never somehow they never hear it mm. and and at christmas it gives us like, the the license the opportunity to be really clear about it and to share it with with joy and energy okay. uh, and i would say you know bring the energy you know bring it genuinely um no one wants to, to come to think that's flat you know the holy spirit uh, is moving upon us all and uh, certainly as we prayed and as we prepared really sense the holy spirit really meeting us in in the whole thing and and he is the one who makes it amazing thank you thank you very much um pastor matthew so if you don't mind would you just pray a prayer for us and over all those who are going to be putting on events um this 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 week Yes, absolutely. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this great salvation that we celebrate. Our hearts are so joyful. I pray for everyone, Lord, who is going out to run an event for uh, Shine Your Light. Holy Spirit, would you come upon each person, each church? Would you undertake for them? May the joy of the Lord be upon everyone. Lord, we just pray that uh, there will be liberty, that there will not be fear. And we pray that there will not be any disruption either, but your light will shine and may 